tell us some of the games that children played when you were young. Oh, we played, oh, we played marbles and was that with tag clay marbles? And tag. Oh yeah. That was with clay marbles. Oh yeah, and we tag, played tag, tag and whatever hide and seek, and that is. You had to because you didn't have television all, so you had to make up games and it didn't cost any money to play. On basketball and football, we, we had a little football team, JT and me and some other guys, and we'd go up and play Lawrenceville and play different people, and we didn't have uniforms and helmets back then. We went up and played Lawrenceville, and we were playing, and I went to tackle a guy, and he kicked me in the head, and I saw stars from every direction. <laughs> you didn't have anything to, so you sort of had a hard head that time, no helmet. Huh? No helmet. <laughs> right. But we, we did have a team. We enjoyed it. I was the manager of several basketball teams and uh, worked uh, with the athletic group, and Mr. Hoyt Turner was the principal and the coach, and I enjoyed being with him and he taught me a lot. Well that's good and were you uh, the manager of the 38 team that won the state champion? I was and uh, take a lot of pride in that so uh, I, I guess I polished the ball for the game that night. I tell you, you were on a championship, at least one championship basketball team. Right. Tell us a little bit about Mr. Uh, Coach Turner and, right. and uh, how y'all played basketball. Back then, you started playing at a young age. Of course, you'd play, you'd have goals in your backyard and a lot of other places, you know. But I played uh, three years in high school. I played in 1937, 38, and 39. 97, we got knocked out just before going to the state. But in 38, we carried our team back. And Coach Turner, he was the one that was coaching us. 1938, we won the state. We beat uh, Stein Hatchie, I believe it was, in the finals in 38. Beat him about 20 points in the final game. Well, that was that, it was, where was that game held? Was it in Athens? Over to Athens. Athens. That's, that's right. That's when, back then, that's where they played all the states there. But in 39, we went right back and... Uh, Oh, 38 and 39, we played 73 ball games and we lost three. And then in 39, we got beat one point in the finals in 1939. Well, that was a good record, wasn't it? Yeah, it was real you good. Enjoyed that, I'm sure. Uh, it's in this book here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know you enjoyed that and playing. Uh, tell us a little bit about Coach Turner. Uh, what kind of offense or defense or both did he uh, run with the state? Well, before he came here, him and Mr. Llewellyn over at Bradston carried a team to Chicago to play in. They got beat up there, but anyway, Mr. Turner and Llewellyn was the coaches. Well, when he came back to to Bradston, the Cula was the leading the coach, and so they went over and got him to come to the Cula. And, uh, he was a real good coach. He sure was. Ran a fast break kind of offense. Yeah, that's right. I was going to tell you about that. When he was up there, he was playing some teams that had a fast break. That's, that's about the only kind of ball he said he was playing up there at that time. Well, Mr. Turner came back, and that's the first thing he wanted to do when he got here was uh, install the first, the fast break to really move up and down the floor, so to speak. And we learned that. Of course, uh, we just about beat everybody. Well, we did beat everybody, we did play. But uh, nobody had, hadn't seen that down here. And uh, that was uh, myself and Willie Farr and uh, Carson Hogan's and Horace McMillan and Carson, Carson Hogan. All of us, we wasn't very big. Horace McMillan, he was probably about 6'2", but the rest of us was uh, about 5'8", uh, 5'9", or something like that. But uh, we could run fast, and we stayed in shape all the time. But uh, we, really, we really had a good team. Yeah, I said, we'd get an old piece of cardboard, or we'd get four wheels, you know, and tack them onto a two-by-four. And that was our cart, you know. We 
drag it over here on the hill and run down the hill, you know. And I remember one time we ran into the tree, didn't we, <laughs> down there? <laughs> yeah, we'd run into the trees and we decided we'd have to put us a rope with a, uh, you know, a little pulley on it, wasn't we? But, you know, I don't know how we were raised like that because, you know, we, uh, mother and dad, are, we'd run out here and we'd stay all day back there messing around in the woods and and probably wouldn't, mother wouldn't uh, finally come out the door about four or five o'clock. Y'all need to come home for supper. And, uh, you know, we uh, wasn't a whole lot of adult supervision back then, was it? Except not, to, a, not a whole Especially it got to be where she would uh, run down the road there and get in the road. And uh, Miss Flanagan always uh, had a little bell. And she sat by our window up there. If she ever seen Lynn get in the road, the bell would start ringing. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have to run and get Lynn. She'd have slipped off and got in the road going to see the Hogan girls, you know. So uh, here. high school was a, a fun time for us. So we did play basketball, and Decula had, a, uh, I thought, a very good uh, reputation as a, a basketball town. And... Uh, as we were growing up, if, you know, that was a thing, basketball. And later on, we got to play it. We have a baseball team, but uh, basketball was king here at Decula. We didn't have football when I was uh, growing up. And uh, so uh, basketball was about the long sport, uh, other than uh, we did have a baseball team uh, during my time. But uh, we didn't have the reputation from that that we did in basketball and so but we had a lot of fun uh wasn't uh didn't have the good fields that we have today uh infield fly infield uh ground balls kind of bounced around a they little were a little bit, tricky you had to be on your toes 